Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Hope your Tuesday is going well. This is the Chiefs Playoff Report. I'm Varney DeBartolo. Well, Game 3 of the Best of 7 series between the Chilliwack Chiefs and the Prince George Spruce Kings went down from the BC North last night. Let's get to the highlights, courtesy of the Prince George Spruce Kings. Chiefs had to weather the storm early in this game, as one would expect. Spruce Kings coming out with some pace to their game. And they get an early power play. David Jacobson was busy in the early goings of this one. But as we've seen in every playoff game so far this postseason, it's Chilliwack finding a way to draw first blood. And this isn't the guy you want streaking in alone if you're PG. Tipper Higgins goes low to the glove side to beat Alex Brooks Potts. That's his 10th of the postseason already. 1-0 Chiefs. Dying moments of a Chiefs power play now. Ryan Bowen's shot squeezes through Brooks Potts. And right there, it's Mason Bowe. Johnny on the spot, making it two-rip Chilliwack. Bowe had four goals during the regular season. That's his third marker in five postseason games. He's been averaging a point a game during the postseason so far. you got to like that. Second period, Prince George cuts the deficit in half just 68 seconds in. It's Jake Lebrun redirecting a pass from the point here in the slot past Jacobson to make it 2-1. Midway through the stands, I check out the effort here by Craig Puffer. Puck on a string, goes around the horn, and buries his six of the playoffs, make it 3-1 Chiefs. A few minutes later, Spruce Kings defenseman Alex Stoley carries the puck into Chilliwack territory, goes behind the net, and then feeds Jeremiah Lutke, who finally scores his first of the playoffs. Lutke led Prince George in points with 21 goals, 46 assists during the regular season. Took him nine playoff games to pot his first. Spruce Kings with a chance to equalize here. Michael Buonacontri thwarted by Jacobson to keep the score 3-2 Chilliwack. This was the busiest the Chiefs netminder has been this series. He was named the third star of the game. Final minute of the frame now. This is a big momentum swing here. Offensive zone draw won by Jay Can. Great puck movement by the Chiefs here. And it's Vinny DeHarnay finding the BCHL postseason points leader. The hot hand, goal number six for Jay Canned and 16th point. Chiefs took a 4-2 lead to the dressing room through 40. Late in the third, Prince George makes it interesting. Ryder Stoglin cuts to the middle of the ice and fires a wrist shot top shelf past Jacobson. But that's all the home side would get on this night. Chiefs hold on for a 4-3 victory and take a stranglehold in the series. Jacobson turned aside 30 of 33 shots. Chiefs power play was limited to just two opportunities in this game. They went 0 for 2, just the second time in these playoffs that Chilliwag did not capitalize with the man advantage. Chiefs with an opportunity to dust off the Spruce Kings tonight in game four and move on to the third round for the first time since 2002-2003 when they went all the way to the BCHL finals. We'll have a full recap following tonight's game.